Hello, class. It's been a while. I know. I missed you too. I've been really busy, but from now on, I will try my best to make contents for you on a daily basis. Everybody, this is American English File, second edition, book two, workbook, part 11a, Bad Losers. Okay, it's pedal to the metal. Part one, vocabulary, sports, expressing movement. Everyone, I need you to take your time and complete the sentences. I'll help you. For example, number one, the player took two shots to hit the golf ball into the hole it starts with h yeah next one in track and field the runners run in lanes around a track all right number three it was match point and everyone was very tense but his first serve went into the net right number four the golf player had to try and hit the ball out of the bunker. Right, number five. The athletes were running fast toward the finish line because they were on the last lap. Number six. When you take a penalty, you have to kick the ball past the goalkeeper. And the last one. The player who took the corner kicked the ball to a teammate who headed it into the goal now everyone underline the prepositions of movement in a let's do it together this is just a reminder yeah okay for example into the hole around a track into the net out of the bunker toward the finish line past the goalkeeper to a teammate who headed it into the goal. Well done. That was a very good start. You can see your answers in here as well. Let's move on. Now, everyone, I need you to complete the crossword. Clues across, for example, over, over the bridge, right? And we have clues down. Stop the video, take your time and do it yourself. No help from anyone. All right, very good. Now let's do it together. Down, up, toward, across, out of, around, into, past, through, along. And as always, you never cease to amaze me. Part 2. Grammar. Expressing movement. Everyone, take your time. Look at the pictures. Now, I need you to complete the sentences with the simple past of the verbs and the correct preposition. All right. These are the verbs. Cycle, go, hit, kick, run, throw. And these are the prepositions. Across, into, over, through, under, up. Okay. Now, you need to combine them together. For example, in the ideal city, number one, they cycled up the hill cycle and up okay let's do the rest together all right easy number two the boy kicked the ball under the car okay number three the train went through the tunnel number four he threw the ball into the goal number five the children ran across the road and the last one she hit the ball over the net. Well done, everyone. Let's move on. So far, so good. Last day at school for boy with dirty shoes. Everyone, look at the picture, read the story, and complete it with the prepositions. All right, these are the prepositions across, into, out of, past, around, through, to, toward, under, along. You can use along two times. All right. This is your turn. I'm going to wait for you. Do it yourself. Well, okay, you're back. Let's read it together. Last day at school for boy with dirty shoes. Last Wednesday started as usual for 15-year-old Michael Brewster at Hove Park School. Okay, 
At 10.30 a.m., Michael's class was jogging around the gym. But when Charles Duff, the PE, physical education teacher, told Michael to clean his dirty sneakers, he got really angry. He ran out of the gym and back to the changing rooms where he found Mr. Duff's keys. From there, he went to the parking lot, got into Mr. Duff's Ford and started the car. Then he drove along the road, under the bridge, past the security guard and through the school gates. Then he turned left and drove along the road about 300 feet toward the math teacher's house. That was when he lost control. He tried to stop, but instead went across the field and crashed into a tree. Michael no longer attends Half Park School. What a naughty boy. And that's all there is to it. And all the way to part three. Pronunciation. Sports. Everyone look at the phonetics and write the sport. Take your time. Very good. Now I need you to listen and check. File 11A. Pronunciation B. 1. Soccer. 2. Volleyball. 3. Auto racing. 4. Skiing. 5. Windsurfing. 6. Cycling. 7. Basketball. 8. Rugby. 9. Track and field. Well done, everyone. And this is the last set in the house listening. Everyone, listen to five people talking about bad losers just like the book which games or sports do they mention all right just listen and mention the games let's do it file 11a listening speaker one the worst loser i know is my mom we often used to play cards together when i was little and if my mom was losing it was safer to stop playing. She was always happy when she was winning, but when she was losing, you could see her getting angrier and angrier until she exploded. Sometimes, she used to go out of the room because she was so upset. Speaker 2 I once had a friend who was a bad loser at tennis. In fact, we stopped talking to each other because of a tennis match. We were about 20 at the time, and on this occasion, we were arguing over a point. I said the ball was out, and she said it was in. In the end, she just threw her racket into the net and left. We haven't spoken since. Speaker 3 I have to be very careful at work when we're talking about ice hockey. I have a colleague who gets really upset when his team loses, and he hates it if you make a joke about it. I tried it once. And he just stood up, walked out, and closed the door with a bang. He didn't speak to me for days after that, so I don't think I'll try it again. Speaker 4 My son is a very bad loser. In fact, he always has been. He's 12 now, but he still hates losing. We used to play board games together when he was little, but he always used to cry if he didn't win. I had to choose between letting him win all the time or making him upset if I won. In the end, I stopped playing that kind of game with him. Speaker 5 One of the guys who plays basketball with me gets incredibly upset during games, and he spends most of the time shouting at the other players. He's a really nervous person at the best of times, but when we're losing, it really is too much. The referee throws him off the court at least twice a month, 
and once our coach told him to go home. All right, very good. Now I need you to check your answers with your friends. Yeah, put your heads together. Okay, let's check it. Cards, tennis, football, board games, and basketball. Now, we're not done yet. I need you to listen again, all right? For example, who lost a friend after playing a sport with him or her? Speaker two. So I need you to listen and match the speakers. Let's do it. File 11A, listening. Speaker one. The worst loser I know is my mom. We often used to play cards together when I was little. And if my mom was losing, it was safer to stop playing. She was always happy when she was winning, but when she was losing, you could see her getting angrier and angrier until she exploded. Sometimes, she used to go out of the room because she was so upset. Speaker 2 I once had a friend who was a bad loser at tennis. In fact, we stopped talking to each other because of a tennis match. We were about 20 at the time, and on this occasion, we were arguing over a point. I said the ball was out, and she said it was in. In the end, she just threw her racket into the net and left. We haven't spoken since. Speaker 3 I have to be very careful at work when we're talking about ice hockey. I have a colleague who gets really upset when his team loses and he hates it if you make a joke about it. I tried it once, and he just stood up, walked out, and closed the door with a bang. He didn't speak to me for days after that, so I don't think I'll try it again. Speaker 4 My son is a very bad loser. In fact, he always has been. He's 12 now, but he still hates losing. We used to play board games together when he was little, but he always used to cry if he didn't win. I had to choose between letting him win all the time or making him upset if I won. In the end, I stopped playing that kind of game with him. Speaker 5 One of the guys who plays basketball with me gets incredibly upset during games and he spends most of the time shouting at the other players. He's a really nervous person at the best of times, but when we're losing, it really is too much. The referee throws him off the court at least twice a month, and once our coach told him to go home. All right, very good. Again, check your answers with your friends. Okay, who is on a team with someone who's a bad loser? Speaker 5. Who has a parent who is a bad loser? Speaker 1. Who is used to let one of his or her children win? Speaker 4. Who has a colleague who is a fanatical sports fan? Speaker 3. And as always, you never cease to amaze me. And these are the useful words and phrases. Coach, coach, corner, corner, hole, hole. Lap, lap, penalty, penalty, beat, beat, crash, crash, race, race, referee, referee, score a goal, score a goal. And that is the practice for today. Everybody, I would like to apologize for the great delay. I'm really busy these days, but I will make it up to you. And if you like my work, why not like and subscribe? Now. Everyone, if you have a question, you can put a comment down below and I will get back to you. See you soon, my friend. Bye-bye.